Good morning to one and all. In this video lecture series, we are going to discuss about shaping machine and its operations. We had already discussed about the various types of shaping machine and also we had discussed about the working and the construction main parts of the shaping machine in the previous video. Now we are going to discuss about the different types of operations which can be performed using the shaping machine. These are all some of the operations which can be performed with the help of the shaper. We can machine horizontal surface with the help of the shaping machine and also we can machine the vertical surfaces with the help of shaper and also we can machine the angular surface with the help of shaper and also we can cut the slot, we can produce the grooves and also we can produce a different types of keyways by using different types of shaping machine and also we can produce the machining of irregular surfaces we can machine irregular surfaces with the help of the shaper machine and also we can machine splines and also we can cut the gear with the help of shaper machine these are all some of the operations which can be produced with the help of shaper machine steps for machining work is properly held in the vise table is raised to the gap of 25 to 30 mm between tool and work the length and position of stroke can be adjusted the length of stroke should be nearly 20 mm longer than the work and then the approach and over run should be 10 and 5 mm respectively depth of cut is adjusted by rotating down the feed screw of the toolhead and also the feed is adjusted about half the width of cutting edge of the tool these are all some of the precautions we can we want to make before the machining process First, we are going to discuss about the machining horizontal surfaces. Fix the work properly on the table and then adjust the length of the stroke, set the required cutting speed and then give a required speed of the table, fix an appropriate tool in the tool head and then give suitable depth of cut for rough cuts, finishing the job by giving less depth of cut. This is the demo of the machining horizontal surfaces. This is the tool and with the help of a ram the tool post moves to and power motion and this is the workpiece. With the help of according to the depth of cut and feed the flat surface that means horizontal surface can be produced. Second important operation is the machining of the vertical surfaces. In that we want to fix the job on the table firmly and also it is align the surface to the machine properly and fix up the slide cutting tool in the tool head. In, in order to make the vertical surfaces, we want to fix the side cutting tool in the tool head and set the vertical slide exactly at a zero position and file the apron away from the job switch on the machine and rotate down feed to by and to give down feed. In this case, the tool is in the horizontal position. Whereas in this case we want to swell the tool post to the certain limit to get the vertical machining. This is the second operation, machining of the vertical surfaces. Next machining the angular surfaces. Angular shaping is carried out onto the machine, inclined surfaces, beveled or dovetail etc. Set the work on the table, swell the vertical slide of two head to the required angle Either it can be of left direction or it can be of right direction. And then set upon away from the work. We give down feed as per the requirement. This is the image of the shaping machine in order to produce the angular surfaces. Here the angular surfaces can be produced. Next one is the cutting rack or plane. Fix up a square nose tool in tool head and also adjust the length and position of the stroke, reduce the cutting speed and give suitable depth of cut, feed the work properly to get equal planes. In the diagram it is clearly shown that we can uh, produce the cutting rack or we can produce these planes or t slots with the help of the shaping machine. Next we will we'll discuss about how we will cut the keyways with the help of the shaping machine. Fix up the job between two centers. Cut first spline similar to the keyway. Move or rotate work by the 
required amount that means required distance and use index plate for this purpose. This is the key way which we can produce with the help of the shaping machine. The midway key way and we can also produce the irregular surfaces with the help of the shaping machine. Fix up the forming tool in tool post and then give cross feeding construction with the down feed. Dry the apron suitably according to the counter required. This is one of the example of machining the irregular surfaces. Here the tool is produced according to the shape which we want or we, which is required and then with the help of the tool a irregular component can be produced. These are all some of the operations which can be produced or uh, shapes which can be produced with the help of the shaping machine. We can produce horizontal surface, we can produce vertical surface, we can produce splines, we can produce keyways and also we can irregular component can be also produced with the help of the shaping machine. Thank you.